Hello everyone, this is Tsunami Aura, and today we're going to be going over the Astrologian class and showcasing it for PvP in the Crystalline Conflict. First ability we're going to talk about is Fall Melthic. It's going to do 5k damage. That's pretty much about it. Here it is casted. And you're going to use this every time everything's on cooldown. I'm just going to throw these in. This is like your bread and butter ability that you're going to use for DPS all the time. Gravity 2 is going to do unexpected damage with potency of 8k to targets and all enemies near it. The additional effect will bring heavy upon them by 75%. This will last only for five seconds. This is it casted. Our third ability is going to be double cast. Repeat, repeats a spell you previously casted. Once again, there we go. There you go. It just pretty much replicates the ability so you can have an insta cast of that ability, of any ability. Gravity. Gravity 2 again. You have two of them that you can cast. And then you, they're insta-cast, and there's a 15-second cooldown until they replenish back. Max two charges. Expected Benefic. Pretty much restores HP by 4k. Potency is increased up to 8k. As the target's HP decreases, reaching to its maximum value when the target has 50% HP or less. The additional effect grants diurnal, diurnal Benefic. The target... Diurnal benefit effects gradually restores HP. Cure potency, 1k. Duration, 12 seconds. Maximum, 2. Pretty much, if they're below 50% and you throw this on them, you're going to get a fat heal, and then they're going to get a regen on it on top of that. So, usually anything 50% or less, good time to cast this. If not, you can throw this up on them to heal as well. You get two of them. You can also use dual cast to have uh, pretty much four of them if you use... The benefit ability and then dual cast the benefit ability again and then you know cast it again with another dual cast so you can have four of them technically and this is it when you cast it there's the effect and there's your dual cast if you were to do it again next is the macaroni ability macro cosmos macro cosmos Mos. cosmos macro cosmos Anyways, deals unexpected damage with a potency of 12k to all nearby enemies. Additional effect grants Macro Cosmos to self and all nearby party members. Duration 10 seconds. Action changes to Micro Cosmos. Mm. Upon execution, the effect of duration is 25% of the damage taken is compiled. Restores HP equal to cure of 4k uh, potency plus compiled damage when the effect expires or upon execution of Micro Cosmos. So pretty much this is, in a nutshell, a 30-second cooldown. You just pretty much cast it. Anyone around you in this area will get hit with the damage. And then while it's still running, you still have the ability. It only a certain amount of time to use it before it falls off. You click it again. All that damage you absorb, you're getting a fat K, 4K heal right there. And then all the damage that you've taken will also add into more healing. So this is good for soaking when you're on the crystal and you have to tank. Is really good to use for that. But draw on our ability. It's an instant cast, 20 seconds uh, cooldown. You're going to draw Balance, Ewer, Inspire uh, from the deck. And you're pretty much going to click it. It'll tell you what you got. And then you have a certain amount of time to use it. And you can cast it. And you can even cast it on yourself and it casts the nearby party members no matter what. So each one has a different ability. So here you're casting it. It's like an AoE. It goes around you. And then the abilities are, let's read them, the different ones you have. You have balance, which is the first one we will go over. The balance is going to increase pretty much the damage of all party members by 10%. And this is going to last 15 seconds. The Ewer. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But if I am, I hope so. Gradually restores MP to all targets, party members. Uh, potency 500. 15 second duration. The Spire. Gradually fills the limit, limit gauge of all targets, party members. I, I just can't speak. Duration 15 seconds. Sorry about that, guys. And those are your cards that you're going to keep using. And it's kind of random. You're just going to pop them, and it's going to give them to you, and you're just going to cast them. If you don't want to click on someone, click on yourself. But remember, there's a radius on it. I really don't know the size of the radius, but there's a radius on it. But not least, your limit break. Celestial River reduces damage dealt by nearby enemies by 30%. This effect is reduced by 10% every 5 seconds. Duration 15 seconds so that's three stages that it will start being less and less of a buff for damage reduction 
Additional effect increases damage dealt by self and nearby party members by 30%. Effect is reduced by 10% every 5 seconds. Once again, 3 stages of the buff. That will be reduced every 5 seconds. Astro's limit break is a minute and 55 seconds. This is your limit break. It's a huge AoE. Cast the area. I believe it puts it on to you. Tells you the stacks, damage increase, each stage, and then they start falling off, and that's the end of that. And that's your limit break. I lied. Not a huge AoE. It's like 15 yards or yalms. It's, let's see. Eh. I'm trying to find something you can compare it to. All your abilities have like 30, 25 feet. Uh, I would say if you're here, you should probably be able to cover everything. Probably something like this. Probably something about half this. So you pretty much want to be on top of each other when you use it. That's on this uh, class when you're playing it in ranked uh, crystal level. It is, um, it's a very powerful class. Uh, it definitely gets overlooked a lot. It provides plenty of heals with the expect, uh, expected benefit. And you can get four of them out of it with a huge amount with regens can be really efficient slows people down with gravity can put it on a two party member uh, two enemies uh you just have a regular basic a heal um attack doesn't do much but it's just basically like the scholar 5k it's nothing crazy and then this is pretty nice too huge amount of damage you can soak heal up and you can do like pretty much the white mage's ability at 12k but it, they just got reduced to 10 so but there's this range yours is pretty much based on top of you so there's a little bit of difference there and you bring a limit break that pretty much buffs your party so really good for taking crystal and pushing it and being aggressive i would say for a class overview i would say that this class gets overlooked quite often and you should use it to climb the rank it's not a bad healing class and it provides good damage too don't be fooled give it a shot let me know what you think